Hey there, everyone. It's Denise Salcedo. You're watching the latest. We got a big weekend heading into Forbidden Door. So we're going to go ahead and kick things off with Tony Khan and what he had to say during his media call today. Take a look. During his Friday media call to promote Sunday's AEW and New Japan Pro Wrestling Forbidden Door pay-per-view, Tony Khan provided an update on Jeff Hardy and discussed the company's wellness policy. Khan said that Hardy is in treatment but couldn't say much more other than that. He has stayed in contact with Matt Hardy and that AEW will continue to support Jeff as he goes through the treatment process. He was asked if AEW has a wellness policy and the differences between Hardy's arrest and John Moxley who entered rehab last year for alcohol abuse. We have a wellness policy but in a case of drinking I, I think it's you have to be really uh, careful because most people I think you know 99% of the roster has drank really responsibly and I think most people drink really responsibly as you see from advertisements on TV and and billboards that's the number one thing they they, they ask is that people do drink responsibly it's on the bottom of the ad but I um, no I haven't uh, in a, you know thought about that we have a wellness policy and as far as testing for alcohol after the shows uh, I think a lot of people would <laughs> drink alcohol after the show's over, and I don't have a policy about that. I think it's I put the other than we ask people to be safe and responsible. Uh, and and to be honest with you, um, I think they're totally different things. And I think it's comparing apples and oranges when you mention the two things like they're the same thing. And uh, I think that one person realized, and I hand, that's why I handled them completely differently, Sean. And uh, they're completely different things. And so I, we have a wellness policy in place and it covers these things, but that's why we're here to support somebody when they come to me and they say, we have a problem. And in John's case, he went straight to it and jumped on it and checked himself into rehab because he had a problem. And John could not have been more responsible in what he did. And we could not have been more uh, supportive or there for him. I love him so much and having him back here and, and fighting on this pay-per-view and looking the way he does and, and having his family ha healthy and happy and where he's at and the fact that he, now he gets the big match with Tanahashi, he's, a, he's wanted for years, it's, it's like a fairy tale. With Jeff, it's totally different. And the way it went down is totally different. And that's why the statements and the way we handled the two things are completely different. And so, uh, in this case, like, uh, I just don't think there's any comparison for uh, the, the two, to be honest with you. So, so I, don't, I wouldn't want to comment anymore on it. He circled back to the question afterwards and mentioned that Jeff Hardy and John Moxley's situations aren't similar. Jeff is doing much better. And I'm, I, I think, I, as I understand, Jeff's in treatment. And I don't want to say too much about what's going on because it's his business. And and but, but I'm here for him for whatever he needs. I'm really glad nobody got hurt. But what Jeff did going out and driving is totally different from the other thing. And I just don't like hearing the two of them compared. If that makes sense. And I feel like I'd be remiss if I didn't sit, you know give Jeff a lot of credit for now doing the right thing. And this is how he said Jeff's got to do the right thing. And 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 if he wants to stay with AEW because it's last chance saloon man and uh you know it's totally different john didn't put anybody at risk like that he wasn't out uh, uh drinking and driving and we never i've never seen any evidence of anything like that and uh certainly uh it was it was the way it went down was totally different so that's why i didn't like hearing it compared but i will say jeff is is is, is i is in treatment and and doing better and and i talked to matt about it the other day and and we'll be here and we'll support him for what he needs. And I am, that this is what he had to do. He had to go to treatment to get to get us to keep supporting him uh, at this point. And, and we are. So um, I'm glad you asked, but at the same time, I, I'm glad to give an update on Jeff, but I just think it's such a different situation that I, I don't want to, you know, compare the two, if that makes sense. So thanks. Other notable comments that he made from the media scrum include, that he wished all four men in the IWGP title match could have had more TV time leading up to Sunday, but he dealt with it as best as he could. He decided to shelf Brian Danielson for Forbidden Door and Blood and Guts as he didn't want to risk Danielson out longer with injury. He strongly put over Danielson's replacement Sunday and thinks it will be a special moment. 
He also noted that Sunday isn't a precursor to more AEW pay-per-views. Khan acknowledged more pay-per-views would increase revenue, but there's no imminent increase coming. He said Will Ospreay vs. Orange Cassidy had been a plan for quite some time. He is open to AEW wrestlers carrying New Japan titles and vice versa. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick roundup of news. Until next time, I'm Denise Salcedo and I'll see you later.